what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 all the way up to 10? Mm, 55. Whoa! Not bad. Let me ask you a harder one. What is 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 25 all the way up to 60? Mm, 390. Whoa! What? How did you do that? That, my friends, we'll learn in this video. Hello everyone. Welcome to Aradhya's Kingdom. My name is Aradhya and today I'll be teaching you a super smart technique to compute the sum of the sequence of numbers. The standard way is to add 1 to 2, then 3, then 4. It's way too complicated. But now let me introduce the smart way. Let me introduce you to a new formula. Sum is equal to last term plus first term multiplied by number of terms divided by 2. The last term is 10, the first term is 1, number of terms is 10. So, let's see if our formula works. 10 plus 1 multiplied by 10 divided by 2 equals 55. Wow, that wasn't really hard. If you have been watching till now, can I please request you to hit the subscribe button so I can make more of these amazing videos. Please. What is 1 plus 2 plus 3 all the way to 50? That looks super complicated. But let's see if the smart way works. The first term is 1, the last term is 50 and the number of terms is 50. So 50 plus 1 multiplied by 50 divided by 2 is equal to 1 to 7, 5. Wow, that was amazing. What is 5 plus 10 plus 15 plus 20 plus 20 plus 30 plus 30 plus 40 plus 40 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 60? Wow, this is too complicated. But it's actually really simple too. The first term is 5. The last term is 60. But the number of terms... Hmm, I don't think I know the number of terms. But we have a formula for that too. All you have to do is 60 divided by 5. We get the number of terms as 12. Now we just have to do the formula. So the answer is 60 plus 5 multiplied by 12 divided by 2. We get the answer as 390. Got the answer. Woohoo! see if our formula works. First term is 1, last term is 19, number of terms is 19. So, 19 plus 1 multiplied by 19 divided by 2. Oh, wait, if we do 19 divided by 2, it will become a decimal. So, we cannot do it. The formula works only if the last digit is even. So, basically, we need to make the last digit, which is 19, even. So, to make the last digit even, we can add 20. Now, we already know the formula. So, the sequence of 1 to 20, let's use our formula in it. Which will get 210. Now, we just have to subtract 20, which will give us 190. You got I hope you all enjoyed this video. I am 8 years old and this technique was very well for me. I'm sure it worked for you all too. If you like this video, please like, share and subscribe for more. Bye guys.